Okay, in this section, what we're going to do is we're just going to take a look at the dreaded opening paragraph. Um, now, uh, opening paragraphs don't need to be um, feared. Um, if you are just following a really simple formula that I've laid out here for you, you should be able to um, uh, crush your way through it, no problem at all. There's uh, it's, it's, it's situated a little bit differently than a regular paragraph because it has uh, different responsibilities than a regular paragraph because it is a component of the five paragraph essay. So the first thing that, uh, um, that the five paragraph essay contains is the hook. You need to get your reader interested. Now the hook is typically, typically going to be four to five, four to six sentences long um, for the opening paragraph, which is a little bit different from a traditional paragraph, which is gonna usually be one to two sentences. Okay. Uh, the second thing that you're uh, that you're going to be doing is you're going to be creating your thesis statement. Okay, and you know that your thesis statement from uh, what we've talked about so far is that your thesis statement is essentially the topic sentence for the entire essay. So all of the paragraphs within your body have to relate back directly to the thesis statement. Remember, it's that one sentence that rules them all. Okay, and then the last part is uh, really just a transition sentence, but uh, an easy way to do that is by making an essay map statement. And basically what you're going to be doing is telling the reader what you intend to discuss or examine in your body. And this is an easy way to create a transition that will lead you into the body. Okay, so obviously the opening paragraph is a little bit different than a regular one because uh, you're not trying to prove anything yet. Okay? You're not giving examples or explanations. You're just really just trying to set the reader up for to hear what it is you plan to tell them later in the body. Okay? So let's take a look at this example here. Okay, so during the 1950s, the world fell in love with a courageous canine named Lassie. The Border Collie became a popular cultural phenomenon and sparked countless stories, movies, and commercials. Dog ownership is at an all-time high, and we now see dogs that were once confined to the farms now living in urban environments. There are a lot of reasons why this occurs. One such reason is the benefit that children receive from having a dog present in the family. Dog ownership has a clear and important benefit for children. We will explore how dog ownership teaches responsibility, increases exercise levels, and provides hours of healthy fun for kids. So this is an example of an opening paragraph, okay? It doesn't follow the traditional uh, layout that, we have, uh, that we've gone over with regards to expository or persuasive writing, but this really sets us up for our body to really dig deep, and it's clearly going to be a uh, persuasive essay. Okay, so now let's take a look at the different sections. Now what we know is that our hook is going to be highlighted here in blue, our thesis statement will be in green, and our essay map is in orange. So as you can see, this entire section here, everything leading up to the topic sentence of dog ownership having a clear and important benefit for children is going to be our hook. And I've chosen to use an informative hook, give a little bit of historical reference to it uh, in order to try and drag the reader into the, uh, the topic, which is obviously on the uh, benefit of, of dog ownership for kids. Okay, then we follow it up with our thesis statement, which is always one sentence. Okay, and it is a very clear and concise statement. And then what we do is we use our transitional sentence here, which we refer to as an essay map. And all we've done here is just basically tell the reader how you intend to prove that there is an important benefit for children. So it's going to it's going to tell the reader what to expect in the upcoming paragraphs. Okay, so um, a couple of things that I wanted to point out. Thesis statements have to be strong. Okay, they need to be short, concise, simple, and strong. You don't want to make wishy-washy comments when you're doing it. You want to make sure that you are right to the point. So if you take a look at these three here, you can see that there is clearly a distinction between uh, a strong thesis statement and weak uh, uh, thesis statements. And that strong language is really important when making it. So let's take a look at, we see the, the, uh, the thesis statement that we chose to use, which was strong, but then let's take a look at a, 
a weaker statement. So dog ownership sometimes has a clear and important benefit for children. The word sometimes uh, takes away the strength of the sentence, or the word usually takes away the strength. So we want to make sure that we are standing up on our soapbox and making a strong argument whenever we do it. So in review, the three key components of an opening paragraph, you have to have your hook, which is going to be four to six sentences, your thesis statement, which is one sentence, and then your essay map, which is one sentence, and it serves as your transition, leading you into the body. Hopefully this helps you. Make sure you check out the other videos to make sure that you understand how to properly plan and organize your five-paragraph essay.